What is going on traders? It's 29th of January, the option expiry day and we are finally moving. It looks looks to me like Bitcoin is finally breaking above the grind line that we were talking about, that we were discussing in my previous Bitcoin videos and probably you would have been also drawing these lines as a grind and now we are finally breaking above it. But before I get into the grind, I was kind of focusing on how the 21 simple moving average is um, keeping the prices below 35,000 levels. And it looks to me like uh, we are finally attempting, uh, we're going to be attempting a closure above the 21 simple moving average. Uh, that would signal, that would indicate a short term, um, at least a short term move to the upside, uh, for which the targets are going to be somewhere around this and this point. We're pretty much there. We we fell short of this first target by two and a half percent. But yeah, 39,000, 40,000 uh, looks to me like a possibility now since we've broken the trend, uh, since we've broken the grind. In fact, let's, let's simply jump onto the four hour time frame where you can actually see how this grind was just simply bought to the upside. Look at this bullish engulfing candle. Um, got reaccumulated below the 200 simple moving average uh, on the 4 hour time frame now simply engulfing above both the moving averages the 21 and the 200 well it's pretty much clear to me that we're probably going to be trending to the upside now and Bitcoin has finally decided its direction at least in the short to mid term as we can see the volatility has also started expanding the, the historical volatility it's, it's a pretty good indicator in fact to know if the move is going to continue to the upside or uh, it's going to if the asset is going to pick up a particular direction or not so we finally started expanding the volatility so this means we're going to be having volatility back in Bitcoin, the landlord of cryptocurrency market. So that means most of the altcoins are probably going to be weaker against the Bitcoin ratios. And I think I'm going to be talking about a few altcoins uh, on the coming videos as to how they might perform after this grind line break breakout to the upside. Um, let's let's just simply determine a few more targets uh, in certain different ways. Let me simply get it off this. Alright, so if this was a channel, if we were grinding against a channel and we have finally broken out of the bullish engulf, the target is to the upside. Probably taking uh, taking out this stop. If if we kind of if we continue the trend from this point onwards, we'll probably be taking the stop. Um, we'll probably be going to be testing a few liquidity points like 42,000, 43,000 if you want to be trending from these zones. While the volatility is expanding, uh, it came off of a pretty low region here. So this could mean that we are going to be continuing for the coming days and the weeks. Um, now also, uh, it's weekend. It's it's almost weekend here. So most of the um, most of the exchanges that matter. Well, it's just one. It's CME. CME is the one which matters the most uh, in terms of determining the price action for the coming week. That's going to be closed. That's going to be closed. So if we continue trending to the upside for this weekend, we're going to be gapping up on the CMEs and then well gap plays are going to be back into action most of the traders will be shorting <laughs> shorting the gaps and that's what i think that's what that, that's probably what's going to happen here after the grind blade breakout we do not have much stopping here before we test the upside regions now if we do fail again if we take this bullish engulf candle back to the downside again um basically which is 32,000. uh well, to the T, 32,000 to, if we take 32,000 32, back again to the downside, then probably we are going to be getting back into this channel and we'll probably continue trending to the downside. Um, well, downside targets would be now around the two, the 26,000 zones. But I think that's going to be, that's, that's really going to be a far-fetched opinion uh, now as we do have a massive move in uh, our landlord. <laughs> here in the market, 24% 20, move coming of the lows, of the 30,000 lows. 30,000 was any which way is a very, very significant key zone for Bitcoin and Bitcoin holding above 30,000 is probably good news for most of the altcoins against US dollar pairings. That means Ethereum, certainly we could be heading back to retest the 1500 levels to the upside and we could probably be looking on for some crazy bullish action coming this weekend again. So um, get up get up for some altcoin trading this weekend as uh, bitcoin has finally resolved itself to the upside and at least for the coming week i'm gonna be um, i'm gonna be having a bullish bias and uh, well the entire cryptocurrency market is gonna be moving according to bitcoin so here we have it 
we have to break out finally against the grind line and we have a breakout target to the upside uh, somewhere around 42500 zones if we take those zones we're going to be headed uh, straight up to 44 45 50 52 and um, ultimately 60000s but uh, but but that's again a far fetched opinion to the upside first we have to take take down these levels of significance uh, the first one being of course 40000 the second one being 42000 until then it could go sideways but most of the picture coming across the entire bull uh, in entire crypto market is going to be bullish so have a bullish bias for the coming week and uh, in fact the weekend as well and i think that uh, that, that bias would help you um, make some profits i believe well i think that's been uh, that's been it about the bitcoin update the volatility update i'm going to catch you guys soon on the next video bye for now